This video is going to be all about leading lines in photography. Now, leading lines in photography is a really good compositional technique where you use well, anything that you can find to lead your eye through the frame to a main focal point, okay? So that's what we're gonna look at in this video. So let's go and take some shots. So I am going to use leading lines for portraiture. You can use it for anything. It's just the whole point is that you're using lines to lead you in to a main focal point, okay? So I have Rosie here. She's gonna be my model for this video. And Rosie is the face of TSOP. That's what I like to call you, Rosie. <laughs> uh, she's on the front cover of our book and you'll also see her inside that book as well. Go and grab it if you want to over on Amazon or via the link that is in the description of this video. Now I've also chosen probably the most uninspiring place that you can get with just in an industrial estate. And the reason I did that is because I wanted to show you really how easy leading lines is. You know, lines are everywhere, okay? So this is where we are. We're in an industrial street. I've got a factory here. And as you can see, there are some lines, all right? So I'm quite simply gonna take pictures of Rosie with these lines leading me into her, okay? so. Let's get set up for the shot. All right, Rosie, can I just have you stand in roughly about here, like that? Then I'm gonna go back over here and frame up. Now, just on the technical side of things, I am using an 85 mil prime lens, which is a great lens for portraiture. This is on a full frame camera. That would be 50 mil on a crop sensor camera. It's a nice bright evening. So I am gonna put it on aperture priority and I'm gonna put the ISO on 100. And then you just need to keep your eye on the shutter speed. And currently it's giving me 640th of a second, which is you know quick enough, all right? So when you're in a situation like this, um, aperture priority is a really good option because it frees you up to move around and you know just continue to take shots. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to use a silver reflector to reflect light back in because obviously we're in a shaded area. Now I've chose the shaded area on purpose because it's too bright if we go around the other side, okay? Um, but then obviously in a shaded area, it's going to be a bit flat and a bit muted. But you just get a silver reflector and then you bounce some of that light back in. It lights up the side of the face, gives the face a bit more shape and puts a little bit of a twinkle in the eyes, okay? So I'm gonna get my assistant, which is actually the cameraman there, um, to hold the silver reflector and reflect light back into Rosie, all right? It's as simple as that. And now we're going to take the shots. Okay, Rosie, what I want you to do is to lean up against the uh, metal thing like that, that's it. Good stuff, hand in your pocket and I will just frame up and take a few shots. So as you can see, all I'm doing is just getting quite close to this building here. And I'm using these lines just to lead me straight into my main subject which is obviously Rosie here and it, it is as simple as that I, I don't really know what else to say to you I mean I'll tell you what I'm just going to take a shot without using these uh, leading lines so you can see the difference Rosie just come and stand out like that I said just stand like that and do the same thing turn that way and then let's just take a shot just like this and, and there you go, you know, I mean, it's not a bad shot, don't get me wrong, but it's nowhere near as good as composing the shot, just that slight bit different, just move over a little bit, Rosie, thank you. Um, just composing the shot, that slight bit different, where I'm leaning up against this wall here, and I'm using these lines to lead me in to the model. 
And there you go, it is as simple as that. And just incidentally, I was using F2.8 in all of them shots. And the reason for that is so that I get the foreground blurry and the background blurry, and obviously then it concentrates the uh, image onto Rosie, all right? So it's not just portraiture that leading lines works for, it obviously works for landscapes and all other things. So we are now gonna go back into the studio and we are gonna look at some more examples of how leading lines improve your photography. Let's go to the studio. Okay, so let's have a look at some more examples of leading lines. I've got some really, really cool examples to show you here. But before I do, let me take this opportunity to tell you about the courses that we run over at theschooloffphotography.com. If you wanna learn photography properly, if you wanna be taught by professional, fully qualified teachers in a really structured and accurate way, we are the people for you, okay? We teach photography. Photoshop, studio lighting, and many, many, many other things. So if you want to learn photography properly, come over and see us at the schooloffphotography.com where we can help you out like we do for thousands of other people all over the world. Okay, let's uh, look at the first example, which is one that I took up in Scotland. So it's a long exposure shot, and that's how we get this nice, clear kind of mirror-like water effect. And you know, we've got a whole course on long exposure photography if you want to learn how to do this properly. But it's compositionally that we're looking at here. And what I've done is I've used these logs here, these logs that, that dropped into the water to lead you into the image. And if they weren't there, then this would be a pretty boring image. There would be no foreground interest. So these logs are a really important part of this whole image. Like I said, it leads you into the scene and it enables your eye to flow through the frame effortlessly. And the next image here is again a long exposure and it was taken uh, well, just down the road from the last one actually. And what I've done in this shot is I've used this like abandoned concrete jetty to lead me into the image. And again, if that wasn't there, this image would be pretty boring. We've got a lovely bit of foreground interest and it's leading us into the image. So, so far you've got a portrait using leading lines and you've got some landscape shots using leading lines. These are all my examples, but let's have a look at how other people are using leading lines in their photography. The first one we're gonna look at is this one here by Francistagram on unsplash.com. And I really like this shot. It looks like it's in a shopping center. It could be an airport actually, I'm not actually sure. But the good thing about it is, is he is using these escalators to lead us down into the frame into this little person sitting on the stool there. And we've also got the lines in the ceiling and all of the structure of the building leading us into the same person. It's a lovely, lovely use of composition and of course, leading lines. Now, leading lines don't have to lead you to a subject, but it really does work if they do, in my opinion. And this is a good example of that, even though the person is very small within the frame, you know, these lines are leading towards them. Let's have a look at another one. And that's this one here by a person called Janice on Unsplash again. And I love this example because it's using shadows for the leading lines, all right? So we've got, obviously we've got a light source behind this person and we've got shadows coming from the feet and the legs of this person. And what it's showing you is that you can use anything really, anything to lead you through the frame, including shadows. And we're just gonna look at one more. And that's this one here by someone called Claybanks on Unsplash again. Your eye very easily flows through the frame in this particular shot. And you can actually imagine yourself going under this bridge. And it's a really clever use of composition, you know? Although 
I probably wouldn't risk standing in the middle of that road if it was a busy road, but nevertheless, he's got the shot and here it is. And that is leading lines, a really, really easy compositional technique, which is gonna enhance your shots, I absolutely promise you. Now, we wanna see your shots. If you are inspired by this video and you're gonna rush out there and start using leading lines, we'd love to see them. Simply hashtag the School of Photography on social media and we will pick them up, all right? If we like them, we will reshare them for you as well, okay? So please, please tag us, we'd love to see them. Now, if you've liked this video, you need to help us out by liking the video yourself, pressing that like button, subscribe to our channel, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on leading lines. Have you used it before? Has it gone wrong? Uh, have you had successes with it? Put it in the comments and let other people read them and we will read them as well, okay? We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to come over to the schooloffotography.com where we're gonna teach you photography properly. I hope to see you in the next video and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.